The first professional cycling team to be based in Plymouth has been outlining its plans for the forthcoming road racing season. The Bellashaw Starley Primal Squad has an international lineup and is the only mixed gender outfit in the UK. It also includes a princess from Belgium. I've got it, guys. It's a bit cold. Well, right, cheers, Gabby. Yeah. You can't miss them. The Bellashaw Starley Primal Cycling Team has distinctive orange and black colours, which they hope will peddle them into the cycling headlines this year. Their lineup is truly global, but it does include an Exeter rider in James Davy. They're gearing up for the start of the new season, which begins with the Totnes Veer two-day stage race in March. If good results ensue, the Tour of Britain is within their sights. We would like to think that maybe in 2016 we will get our continental license and the UCI, which is the governing body, will approve that. But a lot of it depends on the, the governing body and the sponsors that we sort of attract. The Plymouth-based team is the first in this country to form a men's and women's mixed squad, which includes a Belgian who has the nickname the Princess of Flanders. In, in Belgium, cycling is a massive success. It's almost a religion. Um, and it's a great thing that they start like mixing things in, in the UK. Um, if if it can if it can grow as big uh, as big as in Belgium, they're they're on the right path. These bikes cost five thousand pounds each, so the owner hopes his investment in the cycles and his riders is sustainable. The last year we we had over ninety hours of TV coverage. Plymouth Argyle, for example, wouldn't have got that amount of TV. So I think have a look at what you want from your marketing budget. Your company can have something to support. You know, um, I think cycling is a great investment, and um, going forwards, we are, we will be sustainable. Well, that's it from me. Have yourselves a great weekend. I thought she was a real princess. Yes. We can ah. let down now. <laughs> Thank you, Dave.